evening at the crossroads. Heavy heads nodding out words as wise as the rumination of cows after milking. From the ragged road surface, a boy picks up a piece of gravel and stares at it, and then he flings it across the elm tree onto the railway. It means nothing, not a damn thing. Somebody is coming over the metal railway bridge, and his hobnailed boots on the arches sound like a gong, calling men awake. But the bridge is too narrow. The men lift their heads a moment. That was only John. So they dream on. Night in the elms, night in the grass. Oh, we are too tired to go home yet. Two cyclists pass, talking loudly of Kitty and Molly. Horses or women, wisdom or folly. A door closes on an evicted dog where prayers begin in Barney McGee's kitchen. Rosie curses the cat between her devotions. The daughter prays that she may have three wishes, health, wealth, and love, from the fairy who is faith or hope or compounds of. At the crossroads, the crowd had thinned out. Last words are uttered. There is no tomorrow, no future, but only time stretched for the mowing of the hay or putting an axle in the turf barrow. Patrick McGuire went home and made cocoa and broke a chunk of the loaf of wheaten bread. His mother called down to him to look again and make sure that the hen house was locked. His sister grunted in bed. The sound of a sow taking up a new position. Pat opened his trousers wide over the ashes and dreamt himself to lewd sleepiness. The clock ticked on. Time passes.